Hi friends. Hope everyone is fine. In this video, I am introducing how to customize, how to configure a EXI, ESXi host. The installer version is 6.7.0. This is the latest version. Uh, actually, in the previous video, I mentioned how to install a ESXi host or ESXi hypervisor in a desktop PC. In this PC, I am installed. This is a desktop PC. Um, here, the configuration it shows uh, i7 processor, a 15 GB memory. Here, the IP shows is HTTP 0000. As the IPv6 address, also it shows like so. Here we have two options F2 customize and F12 shutdown. So we need to customize the this ESXi host. Actually, I'm clicking F2. I got a window like this. It is the authentication window. We need to enter the password that we given at the installation time. Uh, I will provide the URL of the installation of ESXi software in a desktop or how to install the ESXi software. The in previous video I mentioned. Anyway, I will in I will provide the details in the description area. Uh, this is the login name. By default, the uh, administrator username or login name is root. Uh, then I need to give the password. better to provide a alphanumeric and a special characters as password okay I enter the configuration window this is the configuration window uh, from here onwards we can change the if we want to change the password from here onwards we can change the password configure password configure lockdown mode configure management network actually that thing first i need to want i need to provide ip address for this host then only i can able to access via um, network from other pc or from public network if i'm providing a public ip then sure i can able to access it from the public network so i need to configure the management network here it will select the network adapters here the vnip zero is the vmnic zero is the default network uh, network adapter i need to configure ipv4 address here it taken the loopback address 169.254 169 comes the loopback address here i need to select this i am going to set a static ip address so I need to select this one um, for the highlight the selection I need to click on the space bar on the keyboard okay that one is got selected then I need to enter the IP address okay my Wi-Fi range comes with the, my LAN network comes in the range of 192.168.0 network so the same regarding the uh, equal one I am providing here dot zero dot then I am giving and submit mask of course two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero it's a class c type then the default gateway 192.168.0.1 that is the default gateway 
that's come that's i'm providing based on my internet connection for the home internet connection on that basis i am providing here also we can provide if we have a public ip address then we can provide the public ip address here and we can access it from the local internet or from our mobile or from wherever from the outside from anywhere in the world we can access okay this thing i have entered then i need to select okay here i am entering okay i configured the ipv ipv4 address IPv6 address I am not able to configure. I don't have IPv6 address. Then the DNS configuration. If we have a DNS I, DNS server, then we can provide the DNS uh, server, primary DNS server and alternative DNS server. Okay, that thing I am not uh, want to do it now. This is just a home lab. So I don't want to give that the DNS servers now. okay mm, i click the escape key and i got this window apply changes and restart management network now while we change we will be made any changes to the network it will restart the network manager actually i can need to click y to restart the network management not the entire ssi host only the network management will be restart okay done restart management network uh, this one manually also we can do if you want to change the restarting here the um, issues will be mentioned restart the management network will restart in a brief network outage then may temporarily affect running virtual machines if any virtual machines is running inside a, a outage will be happen the outage will be for a few seconds few seconds also we can say it's a fraction of seconds mm. This is the settings and the testing test management network. Network restore options, configured keyboard, troubleshooting options. Here the system logs is available from the system logs. We can see uh, recently what happened. Okay, that's a detailed thing. So don't want to go on that thing. Support information. Here we will get the serial number, license serial number of the ESXA host and all those things. Reset system configuration. All the parameters what we have seen given or everything will be here he said here is we have some troubleshooting options let's see what are the troubleshooting options uh, from inside we can if we want to enable the esxi shell that that thing is disabled also the ssh ssh is disabled if ssh is enabled then only we can able to access it via access ssh this timeouts also we can set and suppose if it is ideal for particular time then we can um, log out the particular section that thing also we can do this is the user interface ideal uh, this thing this thing also the same effect uh, the ideal minutes we can set if the a section is ideal for a particular time then we can we can put a sign out or log out thing is the restart management agents okay in this way we set the esxi 6.7 network address in next video we can able to see how to access it via a laptop or a desktop for this network for this esxi host as i mentioned earlier i installed the esxi host in a desktop pc and for work inside the ESXA host, what are the contents inside the ESXA host and all those things we will see in the next video. Actually, I am trying to access it via my laptop and see how the screen will show and it's, it's via a web browser. A web browser, how it shows and all those things we will see in the next video. Hope everyone like this video. Please watch it, comment it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.